Bernie Burns left Rooster Teeth and Rooster Teeth fell apart. Good morning, Sam. It is Monday, April 24th, 2023. There's a lot of really sad things that have happened in the last couple of years, but perhaps the most sad was the loss of Bernie Burns. Bernie, for anyone who doesn't know, was the founder and creator of the internet company, Rooster Teeth, who I spent my childhood deeply, deeply enjoy it. Just to be clear, uh, B Bernie didn't die, he just walked away from the company, but uh, his absence has left a vacuum that I wanna talk about today because I've really been noticing it a lot. Rooster Teeth is about to celebrate their 20th anniversary. Yeah, they started back in 2003, like before the age of YouTube or online video, really. Like their first show, Red vs. Blue, was something you had to like download from the internet. But that was like way before my time. I came on the scene when they were thriving on YouTube, one of the biggest channels back in like 2014, 2016. I loved a lot of their stuff. But most particularly, they had a podcast called the Rooster Teeth Podcast that I listened to religiously. I think actually like twice. Episodes like 150 through like 400, I think I listened to like twice, which is, which is insane. But yeah, I was, a, I was an avid consumer of Rooster Teeth. Primarily, they did a lot of stuff with video games. I don't really play video games, but I, I enjoyed their personality stuff. Rabbi Borns, I don't understand. Why are the eight candles? Hi, Barbara. Let me explain why there's eight candles. There's eight candles because nine is too expensive. Because nine, oh, we just can't afford them. Because seven candles, that's for the Muslims. It was, it was just an internet company. They just like made cool videos online that were funny. And for me at age like 15 through 17, it was great to watch. Central to all of this was a guy named Bernie Burns. And Bernie started Rooster Teeth. He started this company out of his spare bedroom in his house and brought together a group of friends of his from college with some friends from work and started making this web series called Red vs. Blue. It became an internet sensation, absolutely blew up, and Rooster Teeth was born. Bernie kind of always stayed at the center of Rooster Teeth. He was like always the big name face of the company. He wasn't always the CEO. He would kind of step in and out of different positions over the years. But he almost always appeared on the Rooster Teeth podcast as well as like all of their shorts and other content that they produced. He was kind of just like a normal guy, funny and good natured, but he was the core of the company. He was nice and he was kind and he brought people together and he grounded everything in a sense of reality. He had a really good sense of humor, he had a great laugh, and he was just like a fun person to watch online. And then back in 2020, he formally stepped down. He left the company for good. Leaving a, a long post about how he was gonna go travel the world. And his absence really left a vacuum at Rooster Teeth. Now, that isn't to say there were some other things that happened as well with the company. But overall, like, Bernie left and the company kind of went to shit. Like, I hate to say it, but like, in my opinion, that's really what made Rooster Teeth fall apart. So about a month ago, they posted a video like announcing like, hey, uh, surprise, we're doing like a big 20th anniversary thing. And we're going to like revisit a bunch of old shows that we've canceled over the years. And it's going to be a whole celebration. And in it, the whole time I was like hoping that like, oh, maybe Bernie's going to make an appearance and he didn't. And so I made a comment on the video uh, that just said anyone else really hoping that Bernie would make a cameo at the end. And the comment received a bunch of replies. And there was one that really just stood out to me. And this guy, Rod Mullen 64, whomever that is. Well, that was really the only reason I watched. And I realized like, I absolutely agreed with him. Rooster Teeth became a really, really big company. At its height, it had, I think more than 10 million YouTube subscribers. Videos were getting hundreds of thousands of views. It was like a really, really big deal thing. The company had hundreds of people working for it, an animation department, a live action department. They were like shooting TV shows. But like there was one big central thing holding this together and that was the personality of Bernie Burns. Bernie was the company to some degree. And now that he's gone, this like empty husk of a space that Rooster Teeth is now is just kind of weird. Like it's not the place that it once was. And I have a feeling that Bernie had a lot to do with that. Even though many of the old faces are still there, I have a really hard time watching Rooster Teeth now. And I think that would make Bernie sad to hear, but it is the truth. Like, I love that company because I loved him. And I realized I loved watching those videos because I loved watching him. And that's weird, right? Like, you have hundreds of people and this whole big thing, but really, like, one central person 
is the reason so many people are there. To be clear, like after Brittany left, like views dropped off precipitously. The subscriber count began to fall, which is kind of crazy on YouTube because I feel like people don't unsubscribe that much. And the company kind of went down. They've now since changed their logo. It looks kind of terrible. And their videos now get a fraction of the views that they once did. Bernie Burns left Rooster Teeth and Rooster Teeth fell apart. And I don't really know what my point here is. Part of it is just like, I would love to see Bernie again. I think he's off, you know, raising a family and just kind of, he had another kid late in his 40s and I think he's just like off doing his thing with his family which is like great like live your life but I think maybe I didn't realize how important and central he was to my experience of Rooster Teeth granted people will probably say that there's a bunch of other reasons why Rooster Teeth fell apart and like yeah those were all important too but one man I think had a lot to do with it I don't really know how to close out this video except to say that I miss you Bernie I really really miss you and it makes me sad to watch a thing that was once good because of you and now because you're not there, the thing isn't quite the same. Schmackers, thank you so much for watching. And Sam, we'll see you on Thursday. Muriel, I, I got this. Shut up! Hey! Shut up in there! Hey! We're <laughs> recording the podcast! Shut up! Okay, I got that one, Muriel. They actually, actually quieted down. <laughs>